Welcome back to my channel Mathematics. Today we have a very tricky challenge. 7 plus 7 plus 7 times 0. Maybe this is the easiest challenge I've ever seen. But a lot of students make this common mistake. So right now I want you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself. And in the end of the video we will check our answers, we will check our solutions. So first of all I want to start with this first interpretation. We have 7 plus 7 plus 7 times zero. Yes, here is our challenge. A lot of students don't care about order of operation. They solve the challenges absolutely randomly. They say, okay, in a strict order from left to right, 7 plus 7 plus 7, which is equal to 21. 21 times zero, which is equal to zero. Yes, a lot of students solve the challenges like that. They say that option A is the correct answer and they go to the next challenge. But in terms of math, it's really great to know about order of operation. Let's look at this PEMDAS order of operation. Yes, this is the most popular order of operation in the world. All internet libraries, scientific, graphical calculators works according to PEMDAS order of operation. And how does PEMDAS work? PEMDAS works from the top to the bottom. It means that higher position, higher priority. Yes, parenthesis has the higher position. It means that parenthesis has the higher priority. Next step is exponents. It's like 2 squared, 2 cubed. Next step uh, is multiplication division group. And last is addition and subtraction group. So let's solve our challenge according to PEMDAS. Here's our challenge. We have 7 plus 7 plus 7 times 0. Yes, here's our challenge. And what do we have? We have multiplication if we have... Uh, we have addition yes pretty basic where do we have multiplication multiplication we have right here and addition we have right here as you can see we don't have any parentheses exponents division and subtraction we only have multiplication and addition and what we should do at first guys we should uh, multiply or we should add uh, as I told before, PEMDAS works from the top to the bottom. It means that higher position means higher priority. Multiplication has the higher position than addition. It means that multiplication has the higher priority. It means that our first step should be multiplication, not addition, like in our first interpretation. We should multiply 7 times 0. What do we have? We have 7 plus 7 plus zero yes we complete our first step guys we complete multiplication uh, part our last step is pretty basic addition we should add seven plus seven plus zero this is our second step so what do we have we have 14 yes we have 14 this is option c and a lot of students all the time argue with each other about the correct answer one part of students say that option a is a correct answer another part of students say that option c is a correct answer guys Let's look at our first interpretation because we, in this case, we solve our challenge in strict order from left to right, which is absolutely wrong. We can't solve our challenges like that. This is absolutely weird. Uh, we should to start with multiplication. This is absolutely wrong answer. If we have brackets right here, yes, if we have parentheses, this is a correct answer with brackets because first we should evaluate the expression inside parentheses. 7 plus 7 plus 7 which is equal to 21, 21 times 0 which is equal to 0. So with brackets this is a correct answer, but in our case we don't have any brackets, so this is absolutely wrong answer. And let's look at our second interpretation. We solve the challenge according to PEMDAS order of operation. Yes, this is option C14. PEMDAS is the most popular order of operation in the world. First of all, we uh, multiply 7 times 0, yes, which is equal to 0. Next step is addition, 7 plus 7 plus 0, which is equal to 14. This is option C. This is a correct answer. This is a correct approach, correct solution. I hope your answer is the same as mine, guys. I hope you learned something new. I hope you understand my explanation. So, But definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel. So thank you for your time, guys. Have a great day and see you in the next videos.